everyone and welcome to the second episode of the Digital Transformation Live Series. I'm Ali Sufastai, an AI program leader in Valley. Valley is the biggest producer of iron ore and nickel in the world. Our live interviews have been designed to develop the knowledge of applied data science and advanced analytics in different industries aimed to touch Industry 4.0. These live sessions are held every Friday with the presence of one of the university professors, industrial managers, and experts in the field of industrial uh, engineering and also focusing on Industry 4.0 and digital transformation. After recording and editing, all these interviews will be published on our YouTube channel. Today, we will discuss data and analytics for the mining sector from consulting perspective. And this is my honor to introduce Lee Andre Antonis, a senior digital and analytics manager at E&Y. Leo graduated in computer science with MBA in business analytics. He is the senior manager of a consulting company where he has worked for more than nine years in analytics uh, practices. During this period, he worked in several sectors such as customer products, telecommunication, pharmacy, healthcare, iron, mining, etc. And since last year, he has been responsible for more than 70 people in a data and analytics project in the mining sector. Welcome, Leo, and thanks for accepting my invitation uh, to be with us today. Hi, Ali. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much. First of all, thank you very much for this amazing opportunity. So good morning, good evening, good afternoon for whenever you are uh, here us. Uh, again, thank you for the opportunity. I'm very, very happy to be here, to be able to share some of my experience, some of my knowledge, and I think it's going to be a very interesting conversation, very interesting meeting here between me and you. Thank you very much again. Thank, thank, thanks, Leo. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, as a first question, Leo, I would like to know what story led you to your current role and what's your background actually so uh as you said in the beginning in the introduction uh i'm from sao paulo brazil uh i studied science computer science back in 2013 so almost nine years after my uh, university i start to work at ui back that time it was ernest young actually uh and then i I made my uh, my MBA in business analytics and big data. Uh, and since I start work at UI, I've been in the analytics or digital practice, if you if you prefer, because back that time we didn't really work with analytics, but every time every, all projects we have digital uh, orbiting uh, our project. And as I as you said at Nowadays, my role is a senior manager. So uh, I'm leading projects at mining sector, also healthcare sector, consumer product sector. But in the last year, I've been focusing only in the mining sector. Uh, so this is a little bit of my, my background. Oh, perfect. That's great. You work in the wide range of the digitalization and that's great because this is the main reason that we um, talk together about the industry 4.0 but since you mentioned in the for a, maybe the last year or uh, for a long time maybe you you work in the mining sector my, my question is that how is artificial intelligence transforming mining in uh, mining 4.0 perfect so Ali, I think first of all, we need to be clear here that artificial intelligence is transforming the world, right? Regardless of the sector, but uh, our life is every time, every day change. If you are here because artificial intelligence or digital or technology has helped us to be here. Um, but uh, for sure, uh, in the mining sector, we, we might be uh, we might see this uh, 
with more energy, let's say like this. Uh, when, we, and we, when we talk about artificial intelligence, uh, there is something that is really important. Sometimes we only think about the solution, right? The product, like the deep learning, the artificial intelligence model, the machine learning. But AI, uh, for sure, has other competences in, in the orbit. For example, people, process, change management, governor, data literacy, future data driven or value driven, if you prefer. And of course, you have the infrastructure, you have the technology it, itself. So when you think about digital transformation, and transformation is like when a company understands the importance of these competences. We're not only talking about the AI product itself. We are talking about all these competences, as I said, change management, people, process, and so on. So I think one important thing about the mining sector is the companies, they start to invest in this competence. And you cannot only invest in infrastructure or people or change management. You have to invest, let's say, in, in a harmonic way, in the harmonic transformation where you can see all these competence evolving. I think that's why we have been seeing year after year improvement when you talk about efficiency, when you talk about safety in this company. In short terms, I think AI transformed the technology, the mindset, and the culture. When we start to see the companies involve all these competences, we can really say that AI is transform our company, our sector, and our day life. And I think that's what uh, mining companies is doing nowadays. Oh, perfect. I can, I can see you're talking about the culture when we're speaking about the application of AI in mining. And I think you believe that AI is not exactly related to the technology. AI is a culture and we need to focus on different dimensions. For example, the people need to digest this new technology. The process should be changed. The system, the management system should be changed. And it's a great idea because sometimes when you're speaking about AI, people think about, okay, AI is just about robots or about the prediction models or optimization model. But based on your, uh, you know, uh, idea, I think uh, we now we have a, a better view of what is AI and what's the AI application exactly uh, in, in industry. And you mentioned in the mining, we are in the beginning point of this long journey, and we have a lot of things to do in the future. That's great. And I think mining should uh, more invest in this area. But a question that I have for you, how will digitalization make mining operations more efficient? Because efficiency is a key point for us here when we want to invest uh, in this field. Perfect. I completely, I totally agree with you, Ali. But let's start with something that's really important. In all books that you read, that you write, you prob probably already find this. Uh, when you talk about AI, machine learning, digitalization, technology, it's not here to replace the human experience, right? Or our background. Uh, I think when we have the technology alone, it's not enough because you don't have like the background, you don't have the business knowledge, and you have the if you have the human experience alone, also is not enough because you know I cannot perform something by myself as the same as a data analytic model. So mm -hmm. I think the true here is when you use the technology together combine it or as a, as a complement from our background, from our professional experience. And when you have both of them walk through the same purpose, here we start to talk about efficiency. 
because you can have the best model in the world, you can have the best resource in the world with thousand of a dozen of years of experience, but only when you can combine these two, you can really have or you can really talk about efficiency. So uh, I think this point is really a valid argument for 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 my last answer. Uh, I, I've said about competence that orbit the digital transformation. That's why change management in culture are essential here in the digitalization journey. People need to share and believe the same purpose. So you can invest in technology, but if you are not investing in this change management culture, people are just not using our top of the world technology. They have to believe, they have to see why that's important. And when we talk about efficiency and digitalization in, in the specifically for the, the mining sector, I think that's ex exactly what it's about. So people knowledge who often like work 15, 20, 30 years in the same company align with technology. And then find together points of improvement. Uh, maybe it's a point of improvement that they didn't know until now, or maybe they knew about that point of improvement, but they didn't know how to act on the top of them, or we have a chance to validate or refuse hypothesis that, that was really hard without technology. So again, when you combine our background experience with technology, we have efficiency. And in the end, I think it's important to, to point it out the, 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 natural the natural impact that we have in the efficiency when we start to use, of course, modern technology, so every day we have something new, where we start to use resources that are more sustainable, economical, autonomous, safe, and optimized. I think all this together being what, what I believe that making uh, the mining sector more efficient. Oh, excellent. It means that, you know, the digital transformation in mining, it would be the multidimensional subject for the companies and they need to invest in different areas. It's not just, just you know, the technology, it's not just about the software or communication or something like that. It's about the multidimensional problems and they need to think about how they can solve this spider <laughs> problem. Okay, so you, you talk about mining industry, and I believe that AI is a main part of digital transformation when we are speaking about mining 4.0 or industry 4.0. My question for you is that what is the mining industry's most significant areas of growth for AI? So uh, let's establish something here in the right in the beginning of this question. So uh, when we talk about mine interest, we have dozen of areas, right? From the back off to the operation. So as we grow the number of areas, for sure, we grow the number of opportunities, right? Um, but today, that's a personal uh, opinion. I think in the, in the mining sector, safety is, one of the most critical topics, right? Uh, and as we have this natural evolution of technology, when you talk about autonomous cars, that now is a reality for us, computer vision, that are also a reality, remote operation. So this kind of technology allow us to act directly on these safety pain points, let's call like this. And I know, Safety is not like a specific area, as you said in the question, but we have to agree that uh, safety is cross over many areas, mm -hmm. right? So when you think about this team that, uh, that, that, that it, 
where you can see the real potential of AI being applied and the impact and the benefits that this type of technology can bring to the operations. So I know the question was really areas, but I think that when talk about safety is something that you can see cross over all these these areas. And there is another area that I particularly think that can have a great impact by using artificial intelligence. It's like energy consumption, right? Mm. Because energy awareness is a very actual topic. A lot of companies are think that's really nice, right? That a lot of companies are really worried about the energy awareness and how this can impact the 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 results, right? Um, and I think today there is a really a kind of uh, expectation from the society about the attitude and about how companies are dealing with this concept of energy awareness. And when you think of this in a mine company, in the mine sector, we have huge opportunities to deal, to be more efficient, to be like carbon neutral and so on. So when you think about the mining sector, uh, on everything like in a massive scale, and each, even a small initiative can have a, like a big impact. For example, I saw a really nice project that was trying to optimize the transport roads to help decrease the fuel consumption. This AI working, right? But it's think about uh, in one of the aspects, energy awareness. So this, this kind of initiative has a positive impact on energy awareness, cost reduction, safety. So I think you are, AI is one of the key pieces when we talk about energy, ESG, and other topics that are around this subject. Of course, we have many other areas like legal, tax, equipment, maintenance, and, and so on. But I think these two are some key uh, areas to look at when we talk about the mine sector. Beautiful, beautiful. It means that AI potentially a robust we're trying tool for us to think about the multi-dimensional solution for the problems that we have in mining industry. For example, previously we just focused on operation or we are focused on uh, productivity, but now AI potentially can give us this opportunity to think about maximizing the productivity and also reducing the fuel consumption, reducing the greenhouse gas emissions, improve safety, everything at the same time. And another thing I think uh, AI uh, can help us to think about integrated optimization models through the value chain. Instead of just focusing one specific area, we can make relationship between different operations and we can create a link to have the, uh, you know, the an integrated and comprehensive optimization models to think about different areas at the same time. But definitely we are facing some limitation, for example, data. And because data is a, is a starting point for us for, you know, to develop the AI models. And in many areas in mining now, we are facing with the lack of the data or lack of the accurate data or something like that. So we need to think about how we can solve this issue. But that's amazing. I, I think uh, future mining has been coupled by AI application, and that's great. So, okay, so let's just talk about your organization because I know ENY is pioneer in this field. And my question is that what steps are being taken at your organization to be a leader in this transformation? I'm speaking about digital transformation. Awesome, Ali, thank you. Uh, so I think you have to see this in a multi-dimensional way also, right? So I think that is one important, and it doesn't mean that the most important, but let's start with, with this one, that we bring our multidisciplinary teams when we are talking about a project or we talk with a client. So again, as I said uh, a couple of minutes ago, we have to bring together technology and business. So every time we are in a different meeting, or we are making a decision or establishing a point of view, 
we try to make sure that we have our business specialists with us. So we're not talking about only technology. So if the client has a, a, a business problem related to energy, related to mining, to customer centricity, let's bring our, our specialists to help them understand what the market is doing, what other companies are doing, how can we do this better? This one thing, multidisciplinary thing. About sectors, we start to develop, or let's call these hubs. So we have like a mining hub. In this hub, you can find extremely competent team, people with a very strong mining background in this, in this example. So some of them also 5, 10, 15, 20 years working in the sector or providing service to the sector. So we have our specialists in these mining uh, groups. So they are every day talking about the same sector. They follow the growth of the sector, the trends, the risks, what's going on, what the, the company are saying about this. So um, I think we are bringing the right experience and they have the proper to talk about mining or talking about healthy or talk about energy. So I think this hub connecting each sector is a very important initiative. And there is another one that's best particularly I really like that a UI start to establish a lot of partnerships. So if you want to have a specific knowledge or expand our knowledge in one specific area, or maybe our clients, they need a, a specific profile or a specialist in a specific topic. We have several partners and then we can bring them together. They share the same purpose, they share the same uh, culture, and then we are uh, totally comfortable bringing them together to be uh, part of a project. So I think the partnerships are also very important. And one uh, last thing, I think the investment in technology. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about technology, we talk about teams, we talk about people, equipment, training, certification, um, culture. So I think it was a little bit what I said in the beginning about the, when you're when we talk about digital transformation, we have several competence. And I think this not apply for our clients, apply for, for us also. So I think UI made a lot of investment to guarantee that we follow the same purpose and follow the same culture. And I think today our technology team, our digital team, they have um, a cross hole in all other, all other areas in the company uh, because we know that technology is really critical for the project regardless if we are focused in technology or not so when you put together a multidisciplinary team sector hubs investment in technology and a partnership i think is the combination that are making us uh, leader this this transformation that's great. I can see you already touch Industry 4.0 in your organization because you have all elements that we need to, to be a pioneer in this field. And that's great that you are working in the field of, for example, the consultancy for mining. And it, it's the, you know, the ray of hope for a future that the partners same as you or your organization can push mining industry to... Uh, touch industry 4.0 very soon perfect so the, let's uh, uh, you know go back to the technology and innovation because i believe that these two words are linked together what are some of the new technologies or innovations that uh, you are particularly excited about that, that's a great question and i i'm sure that it happens to you too ali so time to time, you receive an article or a slide deck, or you see a post on LinkedIn or so on, uh, a recent project somewhere in the world uh, telling about a brand new technology, and we start to be, be, be very excited about this. 
So even nowadays that we have access to a lot of information, every day I receive something that says, that's really, that's really cool. Uh, and I think this, this natural part of digitalization and the evolution, right? We receive this daily information and we start to get a little bit of everything. Uh, and everything we have is something new, right? Back in, in the past, we every month, now maybe every week, we have something different and soon every day. But there is one report uh, that uh, I particularly really like. This is the Gartner, it's the from Gartner. They they call this hypercycle. Uh, in this 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 report, so like a one page chart um, where you can see, let's say, the momentum of different technology in a specific time frame. So let's say uh, machine learning. When you see this in 2022, where is machine learning? Is it like an innovation uh, dimension or kind of a plateau of usage? So we have different technology and the, in this chart, we can see uh, how this technology is being used by people, by the company. It's in the beginning, just innovation or is already a common usage by the company. So every time I see this innovation technology, uh, specific in this report, I get very excited and inspired. And I always think, okay, being in a consulting company, what could I do with this technology, right? But so let's talk about something that's more in our daily work or something that we, we see more common. Uh, I've been following uh, more closely uh, one, one technology. That, I don't know, it's really a technology, but a concept that's uh, using satellite image for monitoring, right? So for example, we can see the ships approaching ports, we can see ore dust movement, we can see trucks waiting to be loaded. Uh, I know you might be thinking, okay, but that's not really necessary a new technology, right? But uh, we have to agree that now it's infinite time is more accessible. I remember when we start to talk about, for example, Google Earth, and we were always wondering, okay, how they be able to take so many pictures? And now we can do this, right? So I think it's infinite time is more accessible. It's cheaper, right? Uh, with like some outstanding performance, we can use almost near real, near, near real time data to look somewhere. And then, of course, you can use other technology, for example, computer vision. So uh, I've been very excited about what we can do with this, let's say, space tech approach, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's, I think it's disruptive and the possibles are, are huge. Oh, perfect. Perfect. You're innovative, people. That's great. about the mining, mining industry. As you know, mining industry is an old industry with a huge inertia. And if you want to change something, especially when you're speaking about a culture, changing the culture to have industry 4.0 in mining, you need to encourage the mining company. My question is that what's benefits have you seen in mining companies encouraging them to invest in, for example, advanced analytics or AI? So, um, so as I said earlier, when we think about the mining sector, everything is in a huge or large scale, right? The challenges are, great, are, are greater, but also the opportunities for the development and improvement are also greater. 
Um, in my opinion, when you think about the mining sector, when you think about each stage that we have, like in the chain, the product chain, the production chain, you have different improvements, div different opportunities to improve. And here we talk about safety again, we are talking about efficiency, right? And I think AI is a really important align to act in this dimension. Um, I don't think that when you compare to other sectors, I usually say that the mining, we can say that's more traditional. So we might have the perception that the, this, this, this journey, right, is longer, is more complex, because this kind of uh, uh, image that we have that the mining sector is more traditional. But whenever you are in this process, in this digitalization process, you start to see that the distance from other players are huge. So if I have two mining companies, one is starting this journey, this digitalization process, another, the other one is just uh, in his traditional uh, culture, you can see that this difference is huge. And I, I don't think you, you really see this in other sectors. So for example, if you get a, the health sector, even a company that is in a digital journey and another company that are just in his traditional culture, you don't really see that this gap is really huge. That's something that you see in the mining sector. So in summary, just answer, answer your question, Ali. I think that the fact that the mining is more a traditional, less digital nowadays, and the opportunity for improvement in efficient and safety uh, along this, this, this chain are huge. So every small initiative can have a huge impact. Awesome, awesome. So, as you know, we are we are living and working in the, uh, you know, the weak AI era. I'm speaking about weak AI because the application of AI right now has been uh, just limited to make the prediction models or optimization models in some maybe uh, making intelligent decision, but not exact decision. The AI algorithm can just generate some advices for us to improve our performance. But definitely in the close future, we will have general AI and maybe later a strong AI, the very intelligent system that can make a decision on behalf of a human. So what are you most excited about the future of AI applications in mining? I love this question, Ali, and I'm tell you why. Because I know that we are here in a very nice meeting, in a very nice conversation, talk about AI, but time to time, I, I start to talk about culture, people, change management, because I think that's important. Uh, we can have a very disruptive AI technology, but we still need the people to believe and to use it and, and, um, and they need to make decisions or use the decision that are suggested by, for, the, for the technology to move with his business, right? So again, I think something that makes me very excited when you talk about AI is not something really technology, not for the solution, but uh, there's something that I, I can see all the companies, the digital companies, they are talking about this, that's democratization. You know, uh, AI isn't always think about this disruptive technology. And I think democratization, it's a really good example that like, uh, let's say uh, a culture movement or a new company's mindset. And we are not really talking about disruption here, right? Um, yeah. I have seen some companies that in the mining sector, actually, they are really worried about this culture movement. What that means? 
means that, okay, we can have a lot of AI, we can have a lot of technology, but we still need people for that, right? But let's imagine in a, a world or a time where all people across our organization can do it. And we don't need to focus this really disruptive technology in one, two, or a group of five or 10 people. So mm -hmm. we start to allow all users across the company to be able to contribute to development or insights. They can use their own data. They can have access to it in a very practical way, right? So I think this movement is exciting because uh, we have, we, of course, we can think about five, 10, 20 people in our company that they are very good about AI. But let's imagine a company who can, a lot of people can be good at this. So they can have access to the data, they can be trained, they can be certifi certified. So uh, I think it is a movement that's very exciting. I truly believe that the uh, future of AI, that's a movement that can be an example for companies with similar complexity, size, and maturity, regardless of the sector. So for me, democratization is something that is in the top of the meetings when we talk about the C-level, the CDO, the CIO, because I think the company really, a lot of the company are agreeing that whenever you give access to the data and you trend, the team, the people to use this, make decision and use the AI. Now we are talking about uh, the future of uh, artificial intelligence. Perfect, perfect. Uh, my last question is related to the challenges, but I believe that during the previous question that I had for you, you talk about challenges as well. But uh, if maybe you can summarize everything that you mentioned before as it answered this question. But my last question for you today is, what are the challenges facing mining companies in using AI and advanced analytics practically? Okay, uh, so the challenges are diverse, right? I think you have here the whole night or the whole day to talk about challenge. But I think the first one that comes to my mind, and we, I think we talk with this, a uh, couple of times in, in our meeting. I think the challenge that uh, the companies to go deep in this dis digital transformation journey, like to look and act beyond the solution. Uh, I saw a lot of companies of the mistake of let's buy something very disruptive. And then we don't have the people or the people just don't believe in, the, in this disruptive solution. So I see companies really challenge when talking about digital culture, talking about democratization, training, and change management. So we need to make sure, uh, I think, that the digital transformation, they really reach the people all over the company. I said this in the, my first or second uh, topic, they, they need to reach the people in a harmonic approach. So in, in, the, in the mining sector, I think even greater the challenge because uh, it, it is not enough when you talk about, for example, democratization, that your team in the office, they practice, they live this mindset of digital culture. But whenever you go to the operational team, the work, there in the plant, they don't believe and they don't see the importance or they don't see the potential of being digital. So I think the challenge is to guarantee that the culture is unique through the organization. Um, and another challenge, even I, I, I spoke about the space tech being cheaper. We need to speak about uh, the investment in digital infrastructure, right? Uh, and when you see the mining company, that everything is in a large scale. When you think about cameras for video analytics, server, fiber optics, drones, we know that it's a huge investment. 
focusing on on mining sector. Uh, but of course, even being a very high investment, I think whenever you have um, a very a well structured business case in your leadership and commitment to make it happen, of course, this move forward. So for me, I think the biggest challenge is guarantee this harmonic uh, way of digital journey. And of course, the investment, a well-structured business case and the leadership commitment for the digital journey. Perfect, perfect, uh, Leandro. Thank you so much. I think it was one of the best interviews that I had. It's a very exciting uh, uh, subject that you mentioned during your talk, and that would be great. Uh, I really like to appreciate uh, you for your time and being with us here. And uh, I believe that this type of the discussion can help the, the junior people or or some students or the people who are interested in, uh, in you know studying in this area. Uh, I really like to thank you and also thanks all participants that we had today in the live discussions and uh, the people who can watch this video or later, the offline version on YouTube. And I appreciate uh, Mr. Fuladgar who is coordinating and managing this type of the session. Thanks, Leandro, and uh, have a lovely weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ali. It was a huge pleasure to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the discussion. Thank you for your space. Congratulations from, from the work that you are doing. That's really nice. And please, whenever I can contribute again, I will be more than happy. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.